Hello, we are here at the 109th Council of the UN Migration Agency, and today we're going to be talking about migration health. To help us with this topic, we have Jacqueline Vakers. Uh, can you please tell us, what do you do here at the UN Migration Agency? Okay, um, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I am the director of the Migration Health Division uh, of IOM. I'm based here in headquarters. Uh, and um, we had a panel here yesterday at the IOM Council discussing the topic of uh, migration health with the member states. Incredible. Now, what is the link between migration and health? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, uh, that's actually a good question uh, because we're a migration agency, we're not a health agency, so why would we address the topic? Um, in fact, there are several reasons why we address uh, the topic of migration. Now, first, of all, first of all, migrants are human beings mm -hmm. and they, they have a right to health. Uh, this sounds extremely simple, but it is actually very complicated because mm. uh, many migrants uh, have great trouble uh, exercising their right to health mm. because of the situations that they find themselves in. Many migrants may be uh, in a very marginalized situation uh, and uh, are not able to access um, needed health services. So even if there is a human right and even if they have a right to health, it may be very difficult for them to to, to find the, their needed health services. That's one. Uh, second is, um, there is no public health without migrant health. Mm. Uh, what I want to say with that is that in the, our diverse societies today, in some countries uh, or some cities, more than half of um, citizens are foreign born. It is very important for public health systems to be very aware of all the health issues associated with migration. Um, and uh, addressing the health of migrants is very important for public health reasons in that uh, perspective. Um, thirdly, I want to say that it's a very important development topic. Of course, it's also uh, the topic of migration as well as health mm -hmm. appears, of course, in sustainable development goals. Yes. But to be more specific, uh, healthy migrants are uh, people who contribute to development. They contribute to development and are drivers uh, for development for their countries and communities of origin as well as their countries and communities of, of destination. They work, they study, but in order to do so, they do have to be healthy. Absolutely. Uh, health comes before wealth, let's put it that way. And um, so what we all know is a lot of migrants send remittances back home. Mm -hmm. Those remittances are typically used for uh, home expenses, okay. including uh, health needs mm -hmm. of their families who are, um, let's say, left behind. Uh, uh, another important uh, angle is, of course, the, um, the fact that a lot of migrants simply pay taxes. They contribute to society. So Absolutely. in in that sense, it's very important to, to realize the, 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 the economic um, uh, link, uh, development link uh, of migrants. So now this sounds like an incredibly uh, heavy topic with a mm -hmm. lot of angles, diverse yeah. aspects and angles to it. Um, so what does, my, what does the UN Migration Agency do, do on this issue? It sounds so vast and so broad and necessary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, IOM, um, as you may know, is, is an agency that typically works very closely with, with member states. Mm -hmm. We have a very large network of, of offices in, in throughout the world. So. Um, Thanks to that, um, we are able to work together with member states as well as our beneficiaries, right. uh, the migrants themselves. So on the one hand, we work closely with member states. Um, in, in, um, we, we help them address all health issues that are associated with, with my, my migration and, and strengthen their health systems uh, to better address um, the public health in their countries uh, as well and their regions of course as well as the, the health issues uh, of the migrants um, uh, in, in their countries or migrants coming from their countries. Mm -hmm. um, what's very important to online is that we look at migration health from all, all the phases of the migration process mm -hmm. meaning before people depart the home country, uh, when they are traveling, mm. uh, some may travel in very dangerous ways and have many health challenges throughout their journey, when they are in transit, when they may be uh, stranded, as well as uh, upon destination mm. for integration reasons and also upon return. So we 
work, we connect those member states, mm -hmm. let's say, uh, throughout the migration journey. Um, so, uh, in that, to give you a very concrete example, when migrants uh, go from one country to another country, they may be important needs to uh, ensure continuity of treatment. Mm -hmm. Continuity of treatment means that different health systems that a migrant goes through will somehow have to connect. Mm. We, we can connect those health systems. We can uh, work with governments in, in, in trying to uh, better harmonize their regulations, their, their, their policies, of course, um, uh, together with uh, national partners uh, whom we work with uh, very closely, as well as, of course, uh, partner agencies such as WHO and, and many other UN partners and not to forget civil society they are extremely important uh, in in our work yeah. but what I want to underline as well as and I think that's that that's what makes us very proud also mm -hmm. as an organization and as a migration health team is we have really true exposure to the migrants mm. we don't only work at, at policy level uh, we work with governments and, and uh, work with partners we really work with migrants themselves uh, we have close encounters with the migrant populations. Mm. It can be refugees, it can be ir irregular migrants, it can be asylum seekers, it can be people who are affected by crisis situations. Mm. Um, so in that respect we are able to um, ensure that they have access to needed uh, health services. Mm -hmm. um, we can uh, assist them in diagnosis, in, in, in treatment. Wow. And uh, to give you a few examples, in 2017 we uh, delivered some 400,000 uh, vaccines to um, uh, our beneficiaries who were in uh, fragile contexts. Uh, we had some over 300,000 uh, beneficiaries benefiting from our mental health and psychosocial support in, in crisis settings. We delivered over 350,000 health assessments for migrants before they embarked on their journey to their new destination and they came from over 80 different countries. Um, we do that work on behalf of more than 30 destination countries, these health assessments. Primary healthcare access to more than two and a half million people who were living, migrants who were living in fragile settings and so on and so on. So I want to really underline uh, the, 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 the beauty and the complexity of the right. work of IOM. We work with partners and member states as well as really have an extremely good um, understanding of what the uh, challenges are for our beneficiaries on the ground. Well, as a migrant and as just someone who cares about migrants and migration health, I am grateful that you are here helping to lead the charge on this very, very important issue. Uh, and thank you all so much for joining us. Thank you, Jacqueline, for this thank conversation. You. Thank you. We're so grateful. Thank you.